Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic Excel dashboard from the scratch. This dashboard has a search bar feature that you can actually use to search through all your customers and see how this customer's uh, history actually affect your business and as well who are those old customers and as well who is a new customer and who, who are the top buyers are. Let's search through this particular uh, customer and see what goes right here. Now we see this very customized female and we have this female icon. So once we try to change the history, by actually uh, getting into more new customer or other customers, we're going to have something different. So here is what we have. It's a mail and we see the mail icon changes. The first transaction date and as well the last transaction date is actually equal so that so for that is actually going to give us one time buyer which means once this person actually purchased one from us and all of that so right now we can actually see if we want to actually get more deep into our customers we can click anywhere right there and it takes us right here and we can scroll through to see any of the customers you want to actually look at you see we have over 1000 uh, customers right here so kindly look at it by scrolling through to see what your customers are doing you see the first purchase and the last purchase data of this particular customer and how many transactions he had with us just one this person has two and you can see many of it like that so you click back and you get right here the other feature we're going to see is this product so it's showing one product at a time once it shows you a particular product like this benchmark is going to actually tell you is uh, an average or uh, selling product or a top product if it is so you can see all this that has to do with the uh, product, the total sales, cost of goods sold, the gross profit, and as well the quantity sold. So you can actually change it back to clicking right here. It changes to something else. We change it to something else. If you want to see more view about it, all you need to do is to actually click anywhere from there, and it takes you to more of the products we have right here. So you can actually scroll through to see how the products are doing. So once we click back, what we're going to see with those features that actually has to do with like the top product and the underperformed product. So we can release this filter and you see how everything changes dynamically. It is highly dynamic that you need to know how to build. I'm going to show you how to build this from the scratch. All you just need to do is to follow along one by one as I actually start uploading this every single time. So you see it. How much percentage this particular five products that are doing well added does that is this point thirty one percent and the most lowest of all the products is actually five point seventy three out of thirty two products that we are actually selling or thirty two drinks that this company is actually selling. So you can see this everything right here is going to actually be explained to you once you actually subscribe and actually follow along in the tutorial one by one as I actually upload as I've told you earlier. You're going to see how that happens. But excuse me, what if we search what is not there? What's going to happen? Do we still have it? I guess no. If we just search what is not there, John Fred. So we don't have John Fred here. This is what we get. Sorry, not in our database. But once we search what is actually there, it's going to give us the history of that particular customer. So it's going to be. So hit enter and you get a history of a particular customer. So we don't still have it. That means we don't have a customer. Okay, here is it nicely. We have Femme Greg, and this is mail, this is the city, this is the fourth this transaction and the last transaction, all of that. This is how beautiful this could be. Hit the subscribe button and actually follow along step by step on how to create this dynamic Excel dashboard from the scratch. Thank you for watching. If you've not subscribed before, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, like, and actually follow one after the other as I upload this dynamic Excel dashboard video. Stay safe and stay blessed.